One, two, three, four, five. Coming, ready and not. <gasps> Lily, where are Mom's keys? Oh, not you as well. I can't believe anyone would find this movie sad. No, it's not the movie. It's smoke. Fire! Okay, listen to me. The fire is blocking the back door, so let's calmly leave through the front door. It's locked! And there's no key! The windows are locked too! We can't get out! Nobody panic. I want everyone to lie flat on the floor, heads down, to avoid breathing in any smoke. And I'm gonna call Fireman Sam. Oh, yes. That's a good tidder. Ready? Aim? Emergency! There's a fire at the floods, and the ladies are locked inside! There's a fire at the floods house! The ladies are trapped inside! Let's go, Elvis! Does that mean we've won? Wait a minute! That's my house! Again! <laughs> Stay back, Mike. The keys are missing. Mike, have you got your keys? Oh, uh, um. Penny, get everyone ready to exit. Ready, Elvis? Can we have the children first? Everyone keep low. Take Sam's hand. He will guide you through the smoke. Lily, you first. Mandy, next. Take my hand, Lily. I'll help you. Come on, Lily. Don't be scared. <laughs> That's everyone. Stand back. <laughs> Sam? Tom? We have a serious runaway train situation. Rendezvous at the station immediately. I repeat, immediately. How the man you're on that train? Don't worry, Mike. We'll stop it in time. I love a good train journey. Boring old trees, boring old grass. Ugh. Don't be such a grump. This is fun. <gasps> Nipper! What's that, my darling? Nipper is driving the train, Mom! Stop being silly, Norman! Well, look for yourself, then! Ah! He's right! There's no driver! What? Where's Garris? There's a dog driving the train! Well, I hope he knows where he's going. Did you just say a dog was driving the train? Mm, not so boring now. <laughs> Tom, Sam, thank goodness you're here. You have to stop that train before it hits the buffers at the end of the line. No problem, Mr. G. All aboard, Sam.
group of Pondy Pandy citizens are stranded in the middle of the lake with a monster on the loose. Dock for moving. Elvis, hold this. I'm going underwater. <gasps> no, oh, you'll be fish food. Ready, Sam. together already. Oh, boy, do we ever. Oh, Mom, I didn't even get to see the monster. I bet Sarah oh. could tell us all about it. Mm. I didn't really see the monster. I just pretended to. But, Sarah, you scared everyone and put them in a lot of danger. I know, Uncle Sam. I'm sorry. I won't ever tell stories again. But, Sarah, why would you say such a thing? I wanted you to have lots of passengers on your train, Granddad. Well, don't worry, Sarah. I forgot how beautiful the mountains are. I know I'll be coming back here again on Gareth's train. <laughs> me too. And me. And us. Well, Gareth, looks like you're going to be a busy guy, eh? <laughs> Station. He thinks he might be a fireman one day. Oh, imagine that. My Norman, a fireman. I'd be so proud. Oh, look. Here he comes now, driving a fire engine. Oh, oh, oh. Norman's driving a fire engine. Oh, oh, dear. I got to go by a little side. And that's how you become a great firefighter. Stand back, pioneers! Looks like we have an emergency. Norman Price has just been spotted driving Jupiter through Ponty Pandy. Norman Price has just been spotted driving Jupiter through Ponty Pandy, but he was here just a minute ago. I'll stay here and keep an eye on the rest of the pioneers. It's my 
Mike Flirt. He's in trouble. Sam, Penny, it's Mike Flirt. Something's happened to him on the road back from Newtown. Mike? Mike! Where could he be? This is very strange. Norman, Derek, did either of you see what happened to Mike? He went that way. He was being chased by a giant snowball. What? Mike could be down there injured and freezing. We have to get to him, and fast. But that slope is too dangerous for Jupiter to drive down, Sam. You're right, Penny. Only one thing for it. I need a blanket, a rope, a warm drink, and your snowboard, Norman Price. Wow! Look at that! Fireman Sam's better than Billy Bob Blizzard! Mike, are you okay? Sam? I'm fine, but I'm so cold. I'm going to lower you down a blanket and some hot cocoa to keep you warm until we can get you out of there. Penny, it's okay, Mike's not hurt, but he's fallen into a hole. So we're going to need Tom Thomas to winch him out. I'll put a call out right away. Here comes Tom Thomas now. We'll have you out in no time, Mike. I'm lowering the harness now, Sam. My precious Norman? What are you all staring at? Surprise! Yes! What on earth? You're our one millionth customer, Dillis. And here's a big surprise for you. Oh, that is a surprise. A great big cake. Oh, if only my Norman could see this. Norman, jump out of the cake. I can't get out. I thought I just heard my Norman's voice. You did. He's in the cake. You baked my Norman in a cake? Ooh. No. I made the cake out of wood. What? Ooh. It was supposed to be up. A... Oh. Don't forget it. It's stuck. Let me out. Dillis, wake up. Oh, sniff this. Should I get the party horns now? I smell smoke. So do I. Oh no, I forgot to turn off the oil. Evacuate. Quick everyone, head for the door. Abandoned cake. I'll call Fireman Sam. What's going on? Oh no, my Norman's stuck in that cake. Don't worry, Dillis, I'll push the cake out. It's too big! Right. We will now demonstrate the procedure for extricating someone's foot from half a bucket of mussels. Are you ready, Norse? I certainly am. Excellent. Uh, I actually can't get this thing off. A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe? And Norman Fries is trapped in a giant cake? A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe, 
Captain Norman Price is trapped inside a giant cake. My poor Norman! Oh, Mike's still in there trying to get Norman out! Stand back, everybody! Oh, it's no good! I can't get him out! Stand back, Mike. I'll do it. Surprise! Oh, dear. Come on, Norman. Let's get you out of here. Are you the one millionth customer, Sam? I'll help you clean up, Elvis. Let's start with the freezer. Righto. Come on, Elvis. Sunflower seeds. Guinea pigs love them. I shall sprinkle them on the floor, and the little fellow will come and eat them. Oh, yeah! I bet Norris loves sunflower seeds. Norris? Oh, that's my name. Well, anyway, let's get on with it. I scatter the seeds and... Oh, there he is! And I haven't even scattered them yet. No, sir. The guinea pig's frightened. Look! A basement! It's on fire! A whole penny! Everyone, out of the cafe! A fire at the whole fish cafe? And a guinea pig's lost somewhere inside? We'll save you, Norris! Norris? Why does everyone keep using my name? It's that guinea pig that needs saving, not me! It's time to use some equipment properly, Elvis. Let's find the source of the fire, Penny. There! We need to work together on this. How do you think those boxes caught fire, Sam? Ah. Right. Turn the main power off. Power's off, Sam. Uh, uh, but what are we gonna do? We still haven't found Norris. Ooh. Norris, eh? <laughs> There you are, little Norris. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Pridlington? Oh, uh, I'm sorry we named the guinea pig after you. For oh, goodness sake, Cridlington. I'm not worried about that. I'm extremely fond of guinea pigs. Uh. No, I'm worried about you fooling around with fire station equipment. Sorry, Fire Captain Steele. If you just scattered a few seeds, poor little Norrissy Morrissey wouldn't have started hungrily chewing at the wires. I suppose not, sir. It's good the little fellow warned us about the fire by squeaking, hey? No wonder he's called Norris, a firefighter by name and by nature. Don't worry, Elvis. I think you're a brave firefighter. So do I. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> I hope we find something more exciting to take photos of up here. There was nothing interesting in Ponty Pandy. I don't think we should go too far. It looks like it's going to snow again. Don't be a baby, James. It'll be... Wow. Look at these footprints. They're probably nippers or something. But they're huge. They're way too big for a dog. I bet they belong to a polar bear. Come on, James. I don't think so, Sarah. My book's just... Oh. Sarah! Wait! There! Found you, Elvis. We can see you in the training tower about halfway up. Oh, not already! Oh, snowing again. Hmm. Oh! I think we should go back now, Sarah. I'm freezing. It can't be too far away now. Let's just look a bit f further. Come on, Sarah. It's starting to snow. I want to go home. B -b 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 I really want to get my photo of the polar bear. I, I want to win the c c competition. There 
won't be a polar bear, Sarah, and I don't want to get lost. Wait, look, why don't we wait in this cave until the snow stops? Then we can head home. Okay, Sarah, but only because the snow is making me really cold. <laughs> Ooh, hello, dear. Where are Sarah and James? They're still up with the camera. I'm getting a little worried. This is all your fault. I'm freezing. But I want to get a photo of a polar bear. I keep telling you, Sarah, there aren't any polar bears in Ponty Pandy. Huh? Um, James, I, I think the polar bear is coming into the cave. But, oh, what? It can't be. It is. Uh, I think you're right, Sarah. Hello there, you two. What the grizzlies are you doing up here? Moose, we thought you were a polar bear. <laughs> a polar bear? Why would you think I was a polar bear? We were following some big footprints in the snow and... Sarah, look! Moose, it was your tracks we were following all along. I told you there weren't any polar bears in Pondy Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> Gas canisters on a log fire at the Mountain Activity Center. Gas canisters on a log fire at the Mountain Activity Center. Get behind those rocks. The canisters could explode at any moment. Okay, Sam. Bye bye to Morris. Ridlington, what are you doing here? We've got an emergency at the Mountain Activity Center, sir. We'll have to take firefighting equipment up on the Ponty Panty Flyer. But it's already up at the center, Penny. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I have just the thing. Say hello to Bessie. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, girl. Don't let me down now, Bessie. <laughs> now, Bessie, let's show them what you can do. your old fire engine, sir? That's right, Sam. Meet Bessie. I'll get the hose. <laughs> it's not over yet, Garrett. We still have to cool down those canisters. That's okay, Moose. But next time you move those canisters, make sure your campfire is out first. I will, Sam. I can't wait to catch the first fish. No way, Mandy. I'm going to get the first one. Now, now, you two. I'm sure you'll both catch a fish. Mandy, you drop your line right here. Oh, God, it's so quick. I just saw a real whopper. I think it's going this way. Mommy's gonna be so proud when you catch your first fish. Where? Here, Mom? No, here! Oh, this net's in the way. Hold on. That's it, Norman. The fish was just here. Oh, 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 oh. What was that, Charlie? Whoa. What's going on? Uh, oh, it's stuck. Uh, something must be caught around the rudder under the boat. Uh, oh. It's my fishing net. How did that get there? Hmm, I can't steer the boat at all. I need to call the fire station for some help. Keep pumping, Cridlington. We need to make sure it's working well. Yes, 
sir. You never know when. <laughs> My word! Whatever Norman Price has done, he's done it already. It's from Charlie. A fishing net has got tangled around the rudder of his boat, and he can't steer, so they're drifting on the open sea. I wonder how the fishing net got around the rudder. Well, I wouldn't doubt that Norman Price had something to do with it. Penny, we need you to scuba dive and untangle the net. Elvis, you go too. Yes, yes sir. sir. Wasn't me. Don't worry, Charlie. I'll have this fixed in no time. Make sure the engine's switched off. Right o Penny. Charlie, I got one. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. I bet it's really flippy and flappy. Oh, well done, Mandy. You see, Dillis? Moose isn't the only one who knows about survival. We've run out of things to burn. We need to keep warm until help comes. I'll see what else is on the bus. Ah, here you go, Trevor. Burn this. Oh, thanks, Norman. <laughs> The bus! We're on a lake, and the fire has made the ice crack. Get back, everyone! Get back! My precious picture of Norman was on that bus! Now we have nowhere to shelter and no fire. If Moose doesn't get help soon, we're in big trouble. Emergency! Uh, Bus has gone up the road. We need help fast. Great tangled hoses. Trevor's bus has gone off the road. Trevor's bus is in trouble. The passengers need our help. When's someone coming to rescue us, Dad? Very soon. Listen. They're coming! It's Fireman Sam! Elvis, make sure everyone is a safe distance away. Penny, you be ready in Jupiter. Everybody stand back! Activating winch! Penny, you might need to back up to help the winch. Right you are, Sam. Hooray! Yay! Yay! Done it! Now, let's get headed home and make sure everybody's nice and warm. Trevor! You saved it! Huh? Saved what? My favorite picture. You knew how precious it was to me? Oh, Trevor! You're a real hero. <laughs> Mm. I would have hated to lose this. Aww. It's Norman as a baby. With no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mom! I have to say, Moose, pretty impressive going out in that blizzard to fetch help. That was very brave. Hey, what can I say, Trevor? Plucky is my middle name. So, what do you need to make this snowman, Norman? Well, I need your best hat with the feathers on. And that coat you wore to Auntie Phyllis's wedding. Hold your horses, and, uh, Norman Price. You're not taking my best hat and coat to put on a snowman. But, Mom, I want this to be the best snowman ever. You'll use what I used to make a snowman when I was a little girl. 
coal for the eyes, a carrot for the nose, and a bucket for the hat. Uh, Mom, but our snowman will be so lame. It'll be fine, Norman. Whoops! Trevor Evans. Well, really. <laughs> Come on, Mandy. Let's go make a snowman. Oh, Trevor. You're like an Arctic explorer. Oh, look. That would be perfect for the snowman. But isn't that your mom's best scarf? And then I'll fix you a nice hot drink <sighs> to warm your cockles. I, uh... I don't have any cockles. She only said we couldn't take her hat and coat. She never said anything about her scarf. Hmm, are you sure it's okay, Norman? I'm positive. <laughs> Firefighters, due to the snowy conditions in Ponty Pandy, I'm afraid to inform you that the power to the fire station has gone down. <laughs> Redlington, will you shiver a bit more quietly, please? I can't hear myself think. Sorry, sir. I can't help it. I, I'm really cold. So if we don't have any electricity, does that mean we can't get any emergency calls, <laughs> sir? No, Sam. We can take the calls on the emergency backup line. But in the meantime, we have no heating at all. Cradlington, <laughs> will you please stop your teeth from chattering? I'm trying, sir. I know. Why don't I get a nice fire going? and we can all huddle around it and keep warm. <laughs> I think my teeth would really like that, Sam. Ah, there. It just needs the finishing touch. Uh, perfect. Oh, dear. I really wish I hadn't done this. <sighs> now what am I going to do? That was a close one, eh? Thank you, Moose. I was in real danger then. I think we still are, Mandy. What? Well, I could climb down from here no problem. But it would be too dangerous to take you as well. Oh, no. Well, it's time to go. I wonder where Mandy is. Mandy? Mandy Flood? Uh, she said she wanted to climb Ponzi Pandy Mountain, Mrs. Chen. <gasps> Maybe she's gone up there. Oh, dear. I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll head back to Ponzi Pandy to pick him up. Mandy Flood is missing on Ponzi Pandy Mountain. Mandy Flood is missing on Ponzi Pandy Mountain. <laughs> There you go, Mandy. Safe and sound. But I don't think you should go mountain climbing on your own again. The mountains are a very dangerous place. I'm sorry, Sam. I just really wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain. Well, I think you need a bit more practice first. I know, Sam. But don't you worry, Mandy. You'll make it one day. And I'll give you lessons anytime you want. No problem. Thanks, Moose. Okay, Mandy. Stay calm. What would an around the world yachtswoman do? Driftwood! Ready! Okay. Let's get to work. Um, Mandy? You know those bolts? Not now, Elvis. Uh, 
happened? That's what I was trying to tell you. I made the bolts fall out. I'm so sorry, Penny. It's all my fault. Don't worry, Elvis. It's my fault, too. I should have listened to you. Looks like Penny and Elvis might be in trouble. Tom, we're going to need the helicopter. Done, Elvis. But what are we going to do now? Without those bolts, we'll never be able to fix the motor. Oh, it's Sam. Looking for these? Oh, thank you, Sam. I'm sorry, I got it all wrong. I tried to take your advice and stay calm, but the bolts came whoa, out. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Elvis. Right now, Mandy's lost at sea, and she needs our help. You're right, Sam. I really need to stay cool and calm now. All fixed. Now let's save Mandy. Well done, Elvis. Great job of fixing. Ahoy, Sam. Hi. Hi. It's Mandy, and her mast is made out of driftwood. That's brilliant! Clever girl! Need any help? Thank you, Mandy, but Sam already is... I think we should let Mandy save the day, huh, Penny? Uh, I mean, yes, Mandy! That would be wonderful! Lead us home, Captain Mandy! There she is! Now, Charlie, I think the twins might have got lost in the snow. Right. Let's call Fireman Sam. Oh, what a marvelous contraption. Oh, yes. Oh, an emergency. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. This is just the job for Saturn. Sam, you take Mercury, Penny and Elvis, you go in Venus with Saturn. Keep in radio contact. Any sign, Elvis? Not yet, Sam. Uh, wait, what's that? That could be them. But there's three of them. Sam, I think I've got them. There's a cave in the woods 300 yards east from where you are. Roger that, Elvis. James! Sarah! We're in here, Uncle Sam. Don't worry. I'll have you out in no time. Sam, how did you find us? Ooh, is it a UFO? No, it's a special camera that uses heat to find people. Wow! Penny, Elvis, Saturn's found them. Everyone's safe and sound. Whoa! Are you okay, Uncle Sam? I'm fine. You look just like a polar bear. Junk out of my way. It's not junk. Well, they're no match for my bare hands. They're getting all tangled up. Move over, mate. You're messing up my gear. If I was here first. Whoa! What the grizzlies? We're really stuck, eh? I'll have to phone for help. <gasps> no signal. Whoa! Well, I think there's one thing you and I can agree on. We don't have long before this branch breaks. Kids, better get help. Okay, Pioneers. 
What should we do? I can see Ponty Pandy from here. Oh, you're right. I can even see the fire station. Hey, maybe we can use my sunglasses to flash a signal. That's an awesome idea, Sarah. We can use the Morse code from my book. Oh, uh, something's flashing on the mountain, sir. Oh, you're right. Three short flashes, three long flashes, uh, three short flashes. <gasps> That's Morse code for SOS. SOS? Sauce? Does someone want sausages? No, Cridlington. SOS is the signal people send when someone's in trouble. A distress signal from someone on Ponty Pandy Mountain. That signal must have come from the Ponty Pandy Pioneers, sir. They're on an excursion with Tom and Moose. Sam, you and Penny take Venus. You haven't a moment to lose. I don't think this branch will hold out much longer, mate. Did someone call for help? Sam! Penny! It's Tom and Moose! We're glad to see you! Stand back, kids. Penny, we're going to have to use the tree spurs. But we haven't tested them yet. We don't have any choice. Okay, Penny, the spurs are holding. I'm going up, you keep the safety line clear. Shout, he'll be there to 